Today we're right in the middle between Nice and Marseille because that's where you can find the most beautiful beaches in France. And we're not exaggerating. There are great beaches where we live around Cannes and Nice. But if we want Caribbean feeling, we hop into the car and drive for two hours to the west. Here are our top five beaches ever. These are our favorite beaches. What are yours? Let us know in the comments section below. France has other beautiful beaches, in Brittany for instance. But the difference is, in this part of the Mediterranean, the beaches are fantastic and the weather is very reliable. Before we take you to the first beach, here's some important information that applies to all five of them. Since our favorite beaches are located in the vacation department called Var, they get really busy in summer. Half of France spends their holiday on this coast, even the president. So either avoid the months of July and August or come early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Otherwise, parking can be a problem. In general, June and September or even May and October are ideal to enjoy the beaches without the crowds, while the weather is usually still mostly nice. Compared to our favorite beaches around Nice, the ones you've been watching for a while now are surrounded by nature. Everything is green around you. And the towns nearby are much smaller than over in Nice or Cannes, so life is more relaxed. As usual, you can find the exact locations and lots more in the description below the film. Our first suggestion is Plage de l'Estagnol, the most western beach we show you today. The sandy beach is pretty narrow, but the bay with its shallow water and the view over to the island of Porquerolles are just stunning. The setting of Estagnol Beach is particularly beautiful, with the pine trees rising behind the shore and the hilly hinterland. It doesn't get any greener than this, does it? We arrived so early in the morning, right at 8 a.m., that there was no one else on the beach yet, but we could already tell that there were wind and waves to come which is not really common for the summer. In the morning, there's shade on the beach, but for later, you should probably bring a parasol. Or you could rent one, sunbed included. Soon after we arrived, the beach became a lot more busy. It's a perfect spot for playing ball in the shallow waters. There's also water sports equipment for rent. You could even get a massage. If you're up for a bit of a swim, you could go all the way to the open sea. Turn left and climb on one of the sweet little islands. We did that with our snorkeling gear a couple of years ago, and it was quite an adventure. Surely you'll be hungry after that. But no worries, several restaurants are waiting for you just behind the beach. Of course, there are also toilets and showers not far away. But there's no lifeguard at this beach. The parking lot closes in October, this year on the 8th. You'll still be able to come to Estagnol Beach in the winter, but only on foot, following the very pretty coastal path. It's marked with yellow bars and takes you to further beaches and coves, for example to Plage du Cabasson, which is our next suggestion for you. 
Here we are at Plage de Cabasson, which belongs to the town of Borme les Mimosas as well. And while the sun is now hiding behind the hazy sky, the wind has increased a lot. We're just out of luck today. The colors would be so much more beautiful with a proper sun. Well, the fierce, chilly, westerly wind is called Mistral. It comes down from the Rhone Valley, brings waves and cooler temperatures, and took us completely by surprise. Anyway, this sandy beach is located in a wide bay with very shallow water that allows for fun activities of all kinds. Do you know who spends their summer holiday over there every summer? Yep, you guessed it, the French president. The old castle on the small island is called Fort de Brigançon, and many statesmen from around the world have visited the place in the last decades. You can too, by the way. Twice a year, the historical monument opens to the public. The entrance is next to the beach entrance. And if you want to make a reservation, you'll find a brand new mobile tourist office right there. Next to the fort is another beach, Plage de Brigançon, which is much smaller and rougher than Cabasson with pebbles instead of sand and where dogs are allowed. It offers some pretty views, so you should at least peek around the corner. But back to Cabasson Beach. This beach provides restrooms and showers, lifeguards during the main season and you'll find a restaurant right next to the large parking lot. Again, there's a parking fee at this beach from April to October. For 30 euros a night, you could also camp under the trees. Northwest of the Fort de Brigançon, there are several beaches, all worth the visit, actually. What makes them all so special are the surrounding vineyards that literally grow down to the sea. Accordingly, you'll also find wineries, where you can taste their famous rosé wines. One of the wineries that bears a familiar name is among the best in the region. Let's head to the neighboring town of Le Lavandou, where you'll get to see another of our favorite beaches, Plage de Saint-Clair. Even though this bay is much less exposed to the Mistral winds, the sun is still not at its best today. You need to add a lot more color in your mind's eye. Take a look at the photos we took at the beginning of the season in May. You get the picture, right? It's a sweet sandy cove with a very relaxed vibe, surrounded by green hills, lined with pines and palm trees and beautifully clear water which is very shallow and therefore ideal for kids to play in. There are several bars and restaurants along the small road with hardly any traffic right behind the beach. It's almost hard to decide where to get something to eat and drink. We went for a coffee on the beach at Sunsea Plage. You can find shade under some trees. But if you want to be closer to the water, better bring your parasol. Or rent one of the many sunbeds at one of the private beach areas. You'll always find people playing volleyball on this beach. And the calm waters are great for all kinds of activities such as stand-up paddling or kayaking. Of course, there are public toilets. And lifeguards are on duty in the summer. We highly suggest checking this place out in low season, when it's all quiet and even more beautiful. You could walk to saint Clair Beach from the center of La Vendoux, by passing the port and following the coastal path to the east. It's 
takes about 30 minutes on foot. Parking is possible in the surrounding streets. Welcome to another pretty wild and unspoiled beach, Plage de Gigaro in La Croix Valmer. It's about 45 minutes by car from Le Lavandou, with spectacular views along the way, or half an hour from Saint Tropez. The beach is somewhat secluded in a residential area not far from Cap Lardier. We like the untamed aspect of it, with no private beach sections around, but pure nature. Apart from this spectacular bar and restaurant right on the water, called Le Marius, as well as a snack bar including a terrace with a view. The beach is mostly sandy, but partly covered with small pebbles. Here you can relax, enjoy water activities, play carefully on the rocks, stroll along the beach, or walk on the small promenade if you don't want to get your feet sandy. There is parking along the road. The first hour is free. In summer, a free shuttle bus runs once an hour from the village of La Croix Valmer to Gigaro Beach and back. Dogs are not allowed during the day. A lifeguard watches over part of the beach. There's even a small supermarket. Of course, you'll find public toilets at the beach. The showers are out of service this summer, as on most beaches we've visited, due to the ongoing drought. And we've saved the most famous and undoubtedly one of the most beautiful beaches of the country for last, Pamplonne. Just around the corner from Saint-Tropez, but in the middle of nowhere all the same. This is one of the hippest beaches of the Côte d'Azur. It's nicely surrounded by pine trees, which only adds to its paradisiacal atmosphere. And the many white yachts indicate where the jet set likes to spend their days. Compared to all the other beaches we've shown you today, this is by far the widest, with the most Caribbean white sand disappearing into shallow water, as well as protected dunes in the background. When we arrived, the sun, which finally showed up for us, began to set, leaving behind the warmest colors. There are several private beaches, between the vast public areas at Pomplon Beach. And then there's Club 55, one of the hottest spots around, as you can tell by its fancy sunroofs, the cool wooden bar, an exclusive boutique, and the long jetty where guests can go ashore from the boats. No less famous, by the way, is Nikki Beach, which is not directly on the beach, but somewhat hidden in the back. Pompelon Beach is perfect for all kinds of beach activities. You can try out fancy water sports like this e-foil, different water toys are for rent on the beach, and of course you could also just go for a plain old swim. Lifeguards will watch you during the summer season. Dogs are allowed to come when kept on a leash. And the nice coastal path right behind the beach invites you for a walk. There are public toilets. And parking is cheaper than in other places on the French Riviera. 
there are so many different beaches on the French Riviera, beautiful and less attractive ones. If you want to see our favorites around Cannes, Nice or Monaco, check out these videos.